Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let this. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, here is another travel vlog. I am currently in Memphis, Tennessee. And please excuse me if it seemed like I'm whispering. I am staying at one of my mentor's homes and we just got in at like 9 40 and she was sleeping when we got here um and so i just don't want to make too much noise um but we've been chilling for the last hour watching girlfriends y'all <laughs> and and um we're about to go out to beale street um believe it or not um i've been to memphis about four or five times um because i did go to school right in nashville but I've never been to Bill Street, so we're about to go down there, maybe have like a drink or two and have a good time. We're waiting on Lyft to tell us that there is a Lyft on the way, but they are like ain't no Lyft drivers around. I don't understand that, but hopefully a Lyft um, can get us, get assigned to us soon so we can get down to Bill Street and have a little fun. what's up y'all so it is 12 31 so a little bit after midnight and we're simply just trying to find an uber <laughs> we are simply trying to find an uber y'all look we had what well, a lift we have been waiting for nearby drivers forever we're literally just trying to get back to my mentor's house we're literally just trying to get back to my mentor's house and it's taking forever for us to connect with a Lyft driver to get us back to our destination. Like, I don't know what's up with Memphis and like the Lyft. I know there's like a shortage of Lyft drivers or whatever, but it's Friday night and I personally just feel like there should be an abundance of Lyft and Uber drivers out right now to get people to their destination. Like, geez Louise. So hopefully we connect with someone soon so we can get back so we can get to sleep and you know get ready for our day tomorrow. good morning i'm giving very much tt on her front porch right now it's saturday i'm having some tea before we get our day started it is now 12 o'clock noon um we are in downtown Memphis and we're about to go have brunch at Majestic Grill. Um, we're really in a parking, a parking garage right now, trying to see if it's an elevator. Cause we ain't trying to walk down the steps. Brunch was so good. That Charlie's gonna come this way. We had such a good time at brunch. Just walking through the city now. We go to the National um, 
excuse me, we go to the National Civil Rights Museum at 245, but it's only 1.30 right now. So we have like a little bit over an hour. Um, and so I guess we're just going to uh, just see what we can see for now. Civil Rights Museum, you know, learn some of our history. And we looked at our GPS and we were like, oh, it's only a 12 minute walk. Mm. Listen, sometimes you just gotta drive. <laughs> sometimes walking is not worth it because it's hot. I'm sweating my makeup off. I'm probably sweating my hair out. And it's hot, it's hot, but we're almost there. So I guess when we get to the museum, you'll see us. Uh-oh, the mask almost flew off. All right, y'all, so like I said, we're headed to the Civil Rights Museum, also known as the Lorraine Motel, also known as where they assassinated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm excited to see what history we can learn what more we can learn about our people and our culture and the civil rights era. And I will get with y'all when we get there. Just left the Civil Rights Museum. Um, it was really good. Um, it did have me feeling really heavy um, because, you know, we saw like the room where Dr. King was shot and they just gave us all this information pertaining at his last, final moments and everything. And it was just really heavy and really sad. Um, I do really want to visit the uh, Afri the National African American Museum. I don't know the official name of it, but the one in Washington, D.C. But that almost has me like weary about going because I feel so heavy after leaving the one here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle that one in D.C., baby. At any rate, um, we are at Cozy Corner getting some BBQ, baby, getting some barbecue. I ordered some ribs and some beans and some potato salad because you can't come to Memphis without barbecue. You just, you just can't do that. So we're about to eat us like a late lunch. I don't know, it's six o'clock, but we have a dinner reservation um, at nine o'clock. So we just wanna make sure we eat some food between now and then. And yeah, let's, let's pull up on the there. Yummy, yummy. Got my beans, potato salad. Mm. Yummy. What's up? Y'all, I had that red lipstick on earlier today, and that red lipstick is not showing me no type of mercy. I tried to, like, 
get it off of me a little bit, but that didn't work. At any rate, headed to get cocktails at the terrace, darling. Going to watch the sunset, darling, while we drink a cocktail. Hopefully, it's not too packed and we can get a seat and watch the sunset. I'm hoping that's what'll happen. But we're just excited to be out, have a drink, you know, fellowship, hang out, be out, and cute and black and proud, you know. Hello. But not before we get breakfast from Brian's. They say they have the, breakfast, the best breakfast in town. And I personally believe that to be true. Last time I was in Memphis, I we came to Brian's and there's literally always a line. I'm gonna show you guys. But we're just in line waiting to get our breakfast. And then we'll head on out. 